Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and today I'm excited about the shave we're going to have this Saturday morning because we're using Talbot uh, Shaving Winter's Refraction and this is made by uh, Chad Irish. I'm sure many of you in the community know Chad Irish, very decent uh, gent. We'll get into the soap uh, in just a moment. We're also going to be using for the first time the Razor Rock Lupo Stainless Steel uh, DLC Razor. Uh, let's go ahead and load that up with a blade. The blade today is going to be uh, Gillette 7 o'clock. Uh, super stainless. And uh, comes in a wrapper like this. Let's see how much glue we have to deal with. Or wax or paste or whatever that is. Not too bad. It, at least it's not near the uh, blade edges. It's really irritating when the glue is close to the blade edges, or at least it is for me. So let's uh, load our blade up here in our Razor Rock Lupo and go see the initial impressions uh, video if you want to know a little more about this razor. They're not in stock right now. The aluminum version is, but not the stainless. Uh, these, of course, when they are in stock available, an Italian barber, uh, no overhang whatsoever on the sides. I know people like to point that out now. It was never a big deal for me, honestly. I've never had a problem with uh, overhang. The soap, very, very difficult uh, to describe for me. Let me go ahead and show you the ingredients first while I think about what this smells like. It's described as a warm hug. And to me, I'm not sure it comes across as a warm hug. I definitely get the sort of outdoors, uh, a wood type, um, I don't know, I think I get patchouli. Um, I'm not sure what the notes are in it because you know, I like to use these soaps blind uh, and not have a ton of information. It's kind of a woodsy, not sandalwood. It's just a nice, really pleasant, uh, it's really hard for me to describe. They describe it as a warm hug. Go read his description because I just can't, there's no way for me to describe this other than it's not, I wouldn't call it earthy because I don't like earthy scents. I do like this. This is very, very pleasant. Out of the tub, the scent strength, I'd call it about a four, a little under medium. It might warm up and open up a little bit. Price scale. As you know, my price per ounce scale is between two and three dollars an ounce. Two thumbs up. Between three and four dollars an ounce. One thumb up. Between four and five dollars an ounce. We wince because it starts to hurt. And over $5 an ounce, we cry. Now, this soap was $15 for three ounces, which would normally put it at the cry level. However, they do donate $1. Chad donates $1 to charity for every tub sold. So that pulls it down into the wince <laughs> category. So it's starting to be a more expensive soap per ounce, but it's not the most expensive soap per ounce, uh, and he gives a dollar to charity, so I'm gonna knock that dollar off, bring it down to 14, and so we're in the wince category, like, ooh, it's starting to hurt, um, but we'll see. We hope it will be worth it. I know Chad is a well-regarded soap maker in the community and a decent gent by all accounts. Uh, today we're gonna be using the razor and brush bore. It's made by Omega, and uh, we're gonna load out of the container here, make sure we get a good load. Um, this soap really smells nice, but I can I cannot describe it. Let me tell you folks, it's been a long week for me. I've been sick the entire week. I'm just now starting to get over it. My voice is still a little froggy. Uh, it has been a rough, it's been a rather rough one for me. Not one of my better weeks, but uh, this shave is going to settle things down, relax things, and it's gonna make the world a lot better for me. I'm looking forward to resting a little bit actually this weekend. And we're uh, hoping we get a good load here because, you know, this is a brand new soap to me. And, and you know, I'm not uh, uh, super skilled at this point in uh, using natural hair brushes again, because I only recently started using them again after years off. So we want to make sure we get a good load so we can uh, see what the soap can do. So we're loaded up here. Let's put some water on our face, make sure we get some water going there, and then we shall commence to lathering the winter's refraction, which to me smells quite nice. 
And by the way, this is a very soft bore brush. I do like that. I don't like that I drop hairs with it, but you know you're gonna have that with new, um, new brushes, generally. They're gonna drop a few hair and so. And now this soap is opening up. I get, you know, me, I'm getting sort of a woody vibe from it. Not earthy though, a little bit woodsy. Um, man, is it hard to describe. I guess the best way to describe it is sort of go check out the soap. It's at, uh, it's, there's still some on sale at West Coast Shaving. My understanding is that Talbot, which is kind of hard to get because he doesn't make a ton, you know, in his batches. Let's see how, how we do with a little water here. Um, so go check it. You know, if you're interested in trying this soap for the first time, well regarded, like I said, I have not used it myself. We don't need to lather my eyeballs today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. <laughs> I do that a lot. I get way too high up on my chair. I'm just, I like, I like lathering. It's fun. You know, what am I going to tell you? All right. So we're getting it where we need to be. Again, mentioning every single time. Folks, the best lather is the one that shaves you well. It's not the way it looks. It's the way it performs. So we get... We, if we get a really nice shave with no weepers, creepers, cuts, irritation. Now, I don't count it as a cut or a weeper if you cut a bump, because that really can't be avoided. But I mean just a cut that isn't cutting a bump or something. So, so if you make it through the shave, it feels nice. You've made it through the shave unscathed with no troubles, then we call that a good shave around here, or a good lather. <laughs> we don't worry so much about, you know, it, it being the best looking lather on video. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to provide a layer of protection. So I know I keep being very preachy about that, but oh, this is exactly what I expected out of this razor, which is absolute beautiful. To me, it's medium aggressive, right at that entry sort of point of medium. Really smooth. And I can tell you already, I'm going to I'm going to enjoy this one more than the aluminum, which I like a lot. And so that's going to be really good. I love the aluminum version, but this heft that the stainless provides is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, I am really happy. Uh, and, and of course, by the way, the soap uh, a little more fragrant on the face. About a. 4.5, slightly under medium for me on my scale. Very nice scent. I wish I could describe it for you. I can't. I just can't. It's one of those uh, uh, scents that things just sort of keep popping up, but I can't describe any of them. Have you ever had that happen to you with soaps where you just absolutely cannot describe it? It does remind you of, I think in his description, he's talking about walking outside sort of on a winter day in the like a river or stream is a little frozen. It, it does, it gives me that vibe, but a lot of people don't know what that smell like, <laughs> smells like, but it's a very pleasant scent. It's not my typical type of scent that I would be attracted to, um, but I like it. It's extremely uh, relaxing. I get what they're saying by warm hug. Um, I can understand that. I don't think it's how I perceive the scent, but it's quite nice and the performance was quite good. Let's check residual slickness. No problem whatsoever there. So on a performance basis, I don't think we're surprised at all to find that, let's add a little moisture here, why don't we? Before we get too far into it. It's no surprise that uh, we had good performance in that first pass. No surprise whatsoever. The question is going to be, do I have enough soap in here for my second pass? And probably not, because I am just terribly rusty with these natural hair brushes. Now, I might have enough near the top of the brush, and I could probably paint enough to get by. I can tell you right now, I can take this soap. Let me just paint. I guarantee you, I can paint a very thin lather here, and pass two will be beautiful. So, let's just... Use this as sort of a learning experience. By the way, I want to mention some channels here while we're painting a little bit. 
Uh, and this is going to be a deliberate thin painted on lather here. I just want to show you something that I've, you know, that will be valuable, I think. Anyway, um, I want to mention a couple of channels, starting with DK, I'm going to say darn, DK darn, use the other word, fine shave. Nice uh, gentleman. I'm going to call him Blackbeard. Do you guys remember Wesley Allen, who we used to call Redbeard? There's his picture. Well, uh, DK over there, this picture is Blackbeard. So you got Blackbeard and you got Redbeard. We got to have one of each. And I hope someday Wesley Redbeard will come back and we'll have Blackbeard and Redbeard and it'll be really fun for everybody involved, especially for me because I'm easily entertained. <laughs> anyway, um, go and check out DK. He's a hobbyist who really enjoys shaving, you know, beer, all sorts of stuff. I've been watching his channel lately and uh, I, it will be in my featured list. By the way, the folks that I'm mentioning, mentioning, I'm going to put in my featured list. So if you come to my channel in that section that says featured, I'm going to start putting people over there. So DK will be over there. Now, one thing I want to mention about the people that I'm featuring, some may use adult language. I'm not saying they're cursing like uh, sailors or just gratuitously, but they may use an adult word every once in a while. So if you're watching with your um, your kids and so on, please be cognizant of that. Even my own channel is marked as adults, but I know some families watch together, mother, father, and child. And so I like to keep it family friendly on my channel. However, I watch all sorts of channels. And for me, I'm still entertained and I'm not bothered when I watch a channel and they, you know, use an, an occasional uh, adult word, so to speak. So um, they're in my featured list, but just be cognizant of the fact that, you know, they may occasionally uh, talk like adults, uh, sometimes talk. And so uh, I don't do it on, here on the channel, or at least I try not to, but some folks do and uh, no criticism there. I just want to warn you that you know, if you're perusing those channels, you know, you might hear an occasional adult word. So just let that be your warning. However, uh, most of the people I'm featuring here are really good folks regardless. So um, channels that I like. But I do realize that people watch sometimes with the kids. And so I, I try to keep it family friendly myself for that reason. Boy, this is... Uh, Anyway, go check out DK's uh, channel, uh, Blackbeard, I'm calling him. Um, man, I'm loving the way this Lupo is shaving. Super smooth. It's hitting the spot. I'm very, very pleased. Very, very pleased. Uh, by the way, this thin lather that I painted on, no problem whatsoever. Shaving beautifully, shaving beautifully. So, folks, please, I beg you. Make the type of lather that provides the protection you need. Please, please, please. I realize we're all enamored with the best looking, glistening Santa Claus beard, as Con put it, Santa Claus beard. But trust me when I tell you, as long as you have that adequate level, level of protection, as long as you, you have the type of moisture that you need, so on and so forth, the shave will be just fine. So don't worry about it. However, you do need to, you know, if you're new, you do need to focus on your lathering and getting the consistency that will provide the protection you need. But for those of you who are, you know, veterans and so on, you don't have to worry so much about it. It's not the end of the world if you don't have the Santa Claus beard. Now for this pass, I'm gonna load a little bit more because I just wanna get a little more of this soap on my face and just, you know, really enjoy it. I think that's why a lot of us uh, load and so forth and take time to to lather as long as we do. We just like to enjoy the soap, you know. And that's that's part of the enjoyment of the hobby. Uh, I want to mention another channel here. And oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to announce the giveaway winner today too. The uh, giveaway winner of the Smog Owners Club 2 Band. Let's do it right now. The winner of the Smog uh, owner's Club, two-band badger, and gift certificate from West Coast Shaving is... Who did 
It was Nick Clay from Jonesboro, Illinois. So Nick, email me your address and I will send that to you. And the gift card is an e-gift card. So I'll uh, email that to you once you get in touch with me. We'll give Nick about a week. And if he doesn't claim it, we'll put it in the queue to be given away again. Okay, with that business taken care of, I've had so much to talk about today. <laughs> with that business taken care of, I want to mention another channel. And I hope I don't get it wrong because sometimes I forget the names of the channels. That's terrible. But I'm forgetful sometimes. So the second channel, an individual, is Jack right there. It's a picture of Jack from the Virtual Groom Room. And he's been having a lot of good content lately. They also have the Razor Burn pod Podcast. Only one episode up so far. The other one I think will be airing at some point soon with Michael Freeberg. That ought to be good. Um, anyway, Jack's had a lot of thought-provoking discussions on his channel recently. Uh, most recently, I saw yesterday he made a video where he... Uh, he put out a challenge for uh, shaving under 10 minutes, which I feel can easily be done. You know, if you're, if you are, uh, if you're pressed for time, you can easily, like I said, you don't have to spend all day doing the crazy lathers. You know, you can do a, just a serviceable lather. I got a hair somewhere. I can feel it. Aye, aye, aye. That always annoys the heck out of me. There it is. I got it. Got it. Anyway, um, what I wanted to say was uh, he's, he's been making excellent content and his challenge went out for the 10-minute uh, shave. I think that's easily done by most people who have experience. I don't think that's a big hurdle to get over. But the point was, that he, I think he was saying that his friends said, oh, you know, why do you take so long? I don't have that kind of time. First of all, you do have time. You do have time. Get up earlier. Don't look at your phone Six take six times a day that you don't look at your phone. Cut six times out of looking at your phone and you got time <laughs> out of your day. Because you know you look at your phone a hundred times a day. So, it's worth it. Make time. I make time every day. You guys see in these videos. I make time every day. Because I enjoy the heck out of this. And I'm so glad that you're enjoying me, doing it with me. By the way, this soap, uh, it's... It's, uh, I don't know if it's just because I got, I put a little water on the brush. It's a little cooling. I don't think there's menthol in it, but it's got an, I don't, it feels really nice and cool on my face. Now that's a thin lather deliberately, but it's really, it feels good. It feels good. So yeah, this is a really good quality. So I'm really impressed with it. Um, and the question always to be answered when I'm using a brand new um, artisan, new to me, is will I buy another soap for that brand? The answer right now, yes, even before I do this final pass. I know I will. And not just because I like Chad Irish. This is just a really good quality soap. And I'm very happy with it. And so this is a keeper for me. It's a little pricey. You know You know me. I don't like, I don't like spending over... $3.99 per ounce, basically, but, you know, every now and then, you spend a little more, and you enjoy, and so this is one of those times I really like this razor. I'm all over the place today. I, I think it's because I have uh, just now started feeling better, and so I have a little more energy, uh, but man, I gotta tell you, this razor is a smooth shaver. Very, very happy with it. And the blade is uh, working quite well too, the Gillette 7 o'clock. It's been a long time since I've used a Gillette 7 o'clock. And I'll be using it the next few days. Because I put three shaves typically on every blade. Unless, unless they start getting rough before the end of the third shave. And then I'll use only two. But no more than three ever is sort of my on a DE blade. Now on single edge blades, it's different. But on D's, it's usually three. Three and I chuck it. Or sooner, if it just happens to be a rough blade. Sometimes with like Derby, I only do two if it's a Derby extra. Man, this is a nice shape. Oh, I forgot to uh, finish my, my thought. Uh, anyway, go check out Jack at the Virtual Groom Room. 
He's been putting out really thought-provoking content. All in good taste. Yeah, he's not slamming people or, you know, all beneficial. He's talking about, you know, things like spending too much and keeping things in perspective. And he's in the business. So when you have someone in the business who's cautioning against spending crazy, you probably ought to listen, you know. Now, he's not telling people not to buy things. He's just like, you know, maybe keep it in perspective sort of thing. And I think that's very wise. Take it from me, somebody who has spent way more than they need to uh, over the years on shaving wares. And much of it I regret um, because it was just absolutely not necessary and it didn't bring anything to the table. But boy, I am happy with the stuff I'm using today. I got to tell you that. All right, let me do a, a rinse here and then we will come back and finish up with the post. Stay tuned. And we are back with the Thayers. And this one, yeah. You have served me well. On to the new Thayers. I bet it has a seal on it. I may have to try to squeeze a couple of Don't you hate those? Look at these. There's almost no tab. That's the only thing I don't like about Thayers. There's just a little bitty thing over there that I can't get a hold of half the time. It's very annoying. It does have a tab, but it's so small I can't get a hold of it. And you know I need my Thayers. I mean, I gotta have it. Oh, man. I'm going to have to pause the video just to take this stupid thing off. Stand by. All right, and we're back. We got it, finally. I hate I hate those pull tabs that don't have very much to get a hold of. It's really annoying. That's the only thing that annoys me about Thayer's. And again, this is the cucumber variety, which is my favorite. I've never tried the coconut water. Maybe I'll try that uh, next time, which will probably be in about a month. Or a little over because we go through this stuff because it's magic made by witches. All right, quick talk about what we use today. We use Talbot uh, Winter's Refraction. Very good quality soap. You don't have to lay it on super thick. As you saw the last two passes, I went thin. It did its job beautifully. High quality soap, very good base, really pleasant scent. Big thumbs up. I will buy from this company again. The Razor Rock Lupo DLC, big time winner. Uh, I love it. Very, very happy with it. Super smooth shaver. One of the best shavers. Um, keep in mind, I've used the aluminum a number of times. This one is just as good as the aluminum. I like the added weight. It helps me a little bit. Um, it's, it's, it's terrific in my opinion. We used our razor and brush bore, which is a terrific uh, bore brush, uh, made by Mega. They sell the uh, Italian flag branded bore just like this. It's very soft, um, by the way. And last but not least, we're gonna finish off with a little uh, Captain's Choice Nora Easter to go along with our winter's refraction. Uh, this is a really nice smelling uh, aftershave. Kind of reminds me of Dracar, the clone, if you're familiar. Oh, so beautiful. Very, very nice. All right, folks. I want to thank everybody so much for joining us uh, today. It means a lot. Uh, don't worry. There will be another giveaway announced on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, I want to remind all of you that it's your shave. Do it your way, and God bless you.